All right, y'all. Hello, <laughs> welcome back to our channel. That's Ree, I'm Al. And we're so excited today to talk to you about our topic. Um, we're gonna talk to you about um, going plant-based. And we've uh, been plant-based for the last year. If you've been following us, um, you've seen some of our other videos on that. And if not, now you know, we went plant-based about a year, just over a year ago. Smack dab in the middle of the pandemic. Yes. We said, why not just make it harder? Right. Um, and then we also, we made a video talking about like kind of how it was going and all that. So we thought now it's been over a year, we would do an update on how things are going and if it's still going and, and how, how our feelings are now that we're like pretty comfortable in that lifestyle. First is something <laughs> that we didn't really expect to be a thing, but uh, Rhee has really experienced it quite quite a bit as far as just um, when we're in the grocery store. Um, you wanna talk about that, Rhee? <laughs> well, I think like making the decision to like change your diet and change your eating habits really starts to make you think about everything. <laughs> so one of the things that when we started doing the Whole30 and we started changing our diet and our eating habits, one thing I noticed was I was eating an absurd amount of eggs. <laughs> like we would be at the store, I think like every two or three days, like Wait, we would buy buying eggs. We would buy the the big carton thing that had like two, two and dozen? a half two and a half dozen eggs. Yeah, the big square one. Yeah. And every time we went to the store, it got me thinking. And each time we put it in the cart, I was like, why why are we buying this? Why do I need this many eggs? And the bigger, the most important question I, I think that was resolved was, why am I eating eggs instead of fruits and vegetables? So very interesting uh, perspective, definitely something, something different, something we didn't really expect yeah. to kind of spark conversation and that could be anything like when you go and you buy your sirloin or you your buy meat. your whatever you're buying yeah it's a lot more expensive than fruits and vegetables <laughs> <laughs> yeah definitely is or lettuce lettuce yeah spinach fruits yeah um yeah so the other thing is one of the things that we have talked about so many times with going plant-based is how it makes us feel and just the difference that we've noticed in our overall life of living, but also in our athletic performance, our recovery, um, our sleep and all that stuff. So um, it still holds true. Everything that we were experiencing is that life is so much better. Living literally is so much better when we are following plant-based lifestyle. And so um, if you don't know, we are about 90% plant-based, so we, we don't have a strict 100% vegan lifestyle. Um, so when we go kind of off of that plan for a meal or, or something like that, we can really tell it. It really, really makes a big difference. And so it just kind of further hammers home the point of how good your body runs when you're just running on fruits and vegetables and grains and like these awesome whole foods and not um, animal products. And then when you are hungry, you're craving, it's weird, but like like yesterday I was like craving this broccoli that we have in the fridge. Like I was craving that for breakfast because I just wanted to feel good right. and I already felt good. And I like, you just like crave that vegetables. It's weird. Yeah. And, <laughs> and it makes you feel good and then you want to eat good. And it's like, it fuels this positive cycle. And the exact same thing happens on the negative cycle. If you start eating bad food, that's just all you want, but then you feel bad and then you keep eating bad food. But it's just on the exact opposite. You you want to eat healthy foods because it makes you feel good and then you crave it and then it's this awesome cycle. So it's like, choose your cycle. Right. Let's talk about the restrictions that you briefly mentioned and when we do go off cycle or off regimen of eating plant-based, what do we eat? Why do we eat it? And how does it make us feel? Yeah. Yeah, a question we get asked a lot is, well, like, like, do you never eat ice cream or like, what about when you really want sushi or something like that? And something that it's, this is how it works for us. And that's why we do it the way we do 90%. Um, so on a day to day basis for most of our meals, most of the time we eat, you know, plant-based whole foods, fruits, vegetables, all that great stuff. Um, but if we have a special occasion, we want to go out and have sushi with our friends. 
um, you know, we really want ice cream, you know, which happens once in a month or something like that. We allow ourselves to do that. And we do that. We first, it's, it's a conscious decision. It's not just like, oh, I'm going to grab this. It's a conscious decision on, do I really want it? Why do I really want it? Um, and then it also is like, a, is it going to be worth it? If I have a big workout tomorrow or if I've got the Tough Mudder tomorrow, um, it's, it's a conversation and it's a conscious decision of if it's going to be worth it or not mm -hmm. um, for how it's going to make us feel. And so that's, it, it feels really like you feel empowered to like make this decision. And like you said, you know, you can, you can go to a barbecue or something and they could be having like all these foods like mac and cheese or something that you normally love. But like, if you don't want it or if it's not worth it for you, you don't have to have it, but you also can have it if mm -hmm. it is worth it for you and you really do want it. Because so. when we do eat meat or when we do eat, you know, these items that we don't normally eat, we feel that impact right away. So we will yeah. get a headache and we will feel groggy, really tired, tired. right away. Or within the hour, we will just feel like our body has kind of shut down. And so you have to think about that when we're making that decision of, do I really want this? Yeah. Or is everybody just eating it? And also thinking about how it's going to impact you in the long term too, because for me anyways, when I eat not plant-based, it affects my sleep um, very, very, very obviously. And so that's something that I'm like, okay, like, I want to sleep well tonight. I usually want to sleep well every night, <laughs> but it's like, it's that decision of like, okay, is it going to be worth it? And like, how am I going to feel tomorrow morning? Not even just right away. So lots uh, of things to think about, but it's, it comes down to it is that we don't restrict ourselves um, in any way, shape or form. So it's just kind of that conversation. And we kind of worked on that through the whole 30 and through like the food freedom process. And that is the whole goal and the whole purpose of the whole 30s to kind of get you to that point. So that's food freedom for us. So that's, it's super cool that, um, that's what we found that works for us. And, you know, we encourage you to kind of play around and find out what works for you. Yeah. And if you're looking for help or something external or just a guide, we highly recommend the book called Fiber Fueled. Mm -hmm. And that will really transform your thinking. And you don't have to believe everything he's saying, if you will, but it will help you we question. Should. He's a doctor. Uh, and he has, he has, uh, it's all. It will help you it's question research. your choices <laughs> and the food that you're eating and the wide variety of plants and fruits and vegetables that are out there that provide the protein, that provide the fiber, that provide you the energy that you need and that you want to wake up every day and feel energized and feel like yourself. Exactly. No brain fog. So I just want to wrap this up real quick with uh, just a couple of facts and some data, which has been oh, super wow. cool what? In, in doing this. So for the past almost two months now, I've been wearing the Whoop strap, which has been super cool. And there's um, at the end of every morning you write, you mark if you did X things or whatever. And so whenever I mark down like, yes, I ate plant-based today, or if I had something that day that I, that wasn't plant-based, I marked that. And the stats are really cool. And it, it really tells me that, hey, when you eat plant-based, your heart rate variability goes up, which is good. Your resting heart rate goes down. And my sleep statistics and my REM sleep and my deep sleep are so much better. So even if you don't necessarily feel it yourself, your body is running a lot better. Mine anyway. Um, so it's been really cool to um, see those hard facts. And even without the hard facts and the whoop strap, those are items that we noticed right away, especially going from one extreme to another, if you will. Um, so from feeling terrible and brain fog, nine to five, all day, whatever have you, from going to the, our new lifestyle, we felt all of those things without any data telling us so. So you don't need this whoop or the data um, to tell you that, but it is a good like reinforcement reminder like, hey, this is true, like your heart rate and your sleep patterns. Yeah. It's really true. It's really beneficial. Yeah. For her specifically. <laughs> so overall, in the last over year, we've been plant-based. We will continue to be plant-based on about a 90% basis and um, highly, highly, highly recommend um, the, the lifestyle to all of you. And um, Or just like 
question why or how much of this animal item products that you are eating are you eating and why yeah and if you want a first step first step this is just add more fruits and vegetables to your diet and then you will start taking away the other items yeah so but, because you'll be full of spinach by the time right? you get there <laughs> exactly enjoy Woo! get real thank you for watching our video <laughs> Please like and subscribe to our channel. Follow us at getrealshop.com um, to see more of our story, more of our journey, um, publications that we've been featured in. And, and to buy our gear! Yeah, that too. <laughs> That's all we got. See you next time. Bye!